Hey, welcome to another edition of Real Life Diaries at Oasis Church. I'm Pastor Augie, and I'm joined by Tony, who, who's Pastor Bob's mom. You're a celebrity here at Oasis. <laughs> uh, Tony came to me the other day after church and, and said that you'd be willing to share your testimony, your story of what God has done in your life. Uh, thank you so much, first of all, for coming and sharing. I know that it's it's scary, you know, to share your story at times, but I know you have an important uh, message to share with people. So why don't you just jump into it and tell us a bit about your story with God? Okay. Um, I know that there are people here that need to hear this, and don't be ashamed of what the problem is. And it, it and my when I was a young woman, I had a lot of bad choices, bad choices. And they came back and bit me. So I turned to alcohol. At first, it was just a couple of drinks, no problem. And then I became an executive at a company, and I had to take people out. And so it was almost every day at lunchtime, you take them out, you had drinks, you had cocktails after work. Um, it just became a way of life for me. And then it started to be a problem, because I didn't just have one or two drinks. I started drinking four or five Six drinks every night, every night. And I thought I was a Christian. I thought I had accepted Christ, and I did. I did accept Christ. I just didn't do anything about it. You know, I, I accepted Christ and went on living just exactly the way I was. I didn't, didn't make any changes at all. But after years, and I'm going to say years because I drank for probably 30 years, um, I got into it, and, I, and I, I knew I had to stop, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed for God to help me, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. I don't know what I was looking for. A miracle stuck me on the head. I don't know. Anyway, nothing happened, and I continued to drink, and um, <clears throat> excuse me. It had to be God. It had to be God because it wasn't me. I, I, after I came here to Yuma to live with Bob and Cheryl, and I still drank, and he knew that I drank. He didn't like it, but he didn't. Well, I say he didn't hold it against me. So I just kept praying, and of course, I started attending church more because I lived here. And all of a sudden, and I don't know, I don't know why it had to be God. The only thing I could say it was God. God finally answered my prayer. Amen. And, and I, I just stopped drinking. I just stopped. I didn't, I didn't want to drink. In fact, if you were to go into my house right now, you would find that there's a half a gallon of whiskey and a half a gallon of vodka in my closet, which I never touch. But it's there. I don't know why it's there, but it's still there. And... Uh, I guess it's to remind me of what I don't want to do. But God answered my prayer. It was God. He answered my prayer, and he helped me to stop. It had to be because it wasn't me. And I guess the message I want to put across to people is, if you have this problem, don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Talk to somebody that can help you. God first. Then talk to your pastor or your doctor or your friend, anybody that can help you because it is a disease. It's, it's, it is a disease, but it's a curable disease if you want to. And don't give up on God. He will answer you. In his time, he will answer you. I don't know why he waited so long for me, but he had a reason. But I'm glad that he did. Amen. Yeah, so cool to, to hear a story of redemption. You know, is what you're talking about, God re redeeming you from that addiction. And just, I'm, I'm glad that you can share that openly. And I know that it's not easy to talk about that kind of thing. But I do, I'm so proud of you for, for being brave to share your story. Because I know that there are many other people that deal with the exact same thing. And like you said, I think that it's absolutely important that people know that they can be open and honest and real with someone to get some true help, right? To get some true help. I'm so glad that, that God saved you from it, you know, Me that too. he delivered you from it. 
Uh, can I pray for you as we close? Absolutely. God, thank you so much for Tony's story, for Tony's story of recovery and uh, rescue. We thank you, God, that you are the God that rescues, that you are the God that saves, that you are the God that takes um, the pain of our life and, and you take it upon yourself. Thank you, God, for delivering her from this addiction, Father. And I pray for many other people that are out there that are struggling, whether with drugs or alcohol or any other kinds of addiction, God, that they would turn to you, that they would turn to you in the crisis, in the midst of, of just the chaos that they're dealing with, God, and that you would rescue them. I thank you for Tony's story and her willingness to share it with us, God. Continue to be with her as she fights this battle to stay clean and sober. And God, for all of our other people that are dealing with these things, God, pray that you give them the strength and the courage to live each day for you. God, we love you, we trust you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for sharing. I You're appreciate welcome. it. And uh, we love you guys, and we'll see you next time.